What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the most exciting budget smartphone of 2017. So this is the Epic Elephone S8. It has a massive 21 megapixel camera, 2K screen and 10 core CPU. This is the one I've been waiting for. Now we all get excited when a new flagship smartphone gets released, we all do. But the excitement you get when an affordable budget smartphone appears out of the blue and promises to provide a superpower experience for a low price feels so much better. I actually pre-ordered this way before it was released. I finally got this today and did not waste a second. I moved everything else out the way. I took the camera out and immediately started filming this video. Now this smartphone has the most impressive specs I have seen so far on a budget handset. You can pick this up right now for under $250. And wait till you see the specs. On paper this seems like a winner. You're definitely getting more for your money. But today we will find out how good this smartphone actually is. So let's begin with a very quick unboxing. Inside the box you will find a user manual, a clear smartphone case, a power brick, a USB Type-C cable, a USB Type-C to 3.5mm adapter, a SIM eject tool and the smartphone itself. So here it is guys. The Elephone S8. So I'm just going to peel off these stickers. So I just put the case on and as you can see it looks pretty good with the case on. So here it is guys, the Elephone S8. <laughs> wow, check that screen out. So first of all let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So the first thing to mention of course is this amazing beautiful screen it's a 6 inch LCD IPS screen with a 2k resolution 2560 by 1440 to make things even better you have a massive pixel density of 490 pixels per inch so you have the Helio X25 Deca core which is a 10 core CPU running at 2.5 gigahertz the GPU is the Mali T880 you have 4 gigs of LP DDR4 RAM 64 gigs of internal storage a single 21 megapixel Sony lens on the back with an f1.8 aperture. On the front you have a 8 megapixel selfie camera. You also have dual band Wi-Fi AC. You got dual nano SIM card slots. This is factory unlocked to all networks and countries. You have a fingerprint sensor on the front home button which is my favorite position. You have Bluetooth version 4, Android version 7.1 and a 4000 milliamp battery. So those were the specs and you have to admit you're getting flagship power for a very budget price. So what's the catch? Well keep watching to find out. Now this smartphone is made from a combination of metal and Gorilla Glass. You have an all metal chassis with a 3D curved glass on the back. The corners are rounded and it feels very premium and comfortable in the hands. You have a massive pixel density of 490 pixels per inch which is basically more than the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, the OnePlus 5 and the just released OnePlus 5T. So this display is impressive, colours look vibrant, sharp and vivid, the contrast is excellent and the viewing angles are rock solid too. You have very tiny bezels going all the way round, giving you a 92.5% screen to body ratio. At the bottom you have a single home button and your front facing 8 megapixel camera. There is no back or multitasking button, the home button does it all. You press the home button once to go back, double tap it which returns you back to the home screen or keep it pressed for multitasking. So you have a very accurate fingerprint sensor, it's built into the home button and it does unlock the smartphone pretty quick and accurate every single time. So this smartphone is 8.6 millimeters thin and weighs 195 grams. So I want to quickly compare this to a flagship device, let's bring in the OnePlus 5. So here's the OnePlus 5, you can see the difference in the screen size. But at the same time you can see that the phone is more or less the same size but you're getting a much larger screen with the Elephone S8. Also this is how it looks in terms of thickness and the back of the smartphones. So let's quickly go through the ports. At the bottom of the device you have a microphone, a USB-C fast charging port and a speaker. And on the right hand side we have a volume rocker and a power button. Now what's interesting is both buttons are made of metal, the volume rocker is smooth but the power button has a grainy texture to it which is great so if you're not looking at the phone you can feel straight away that that's the power button. It would be really nice to see all future smartphones to have a textured power button, um, that's definitely handy. On the top of the device you have nothing and on the other side we have a dual sim card tray which can take two nano sim cards. 
I haven't noticed a micro SD card slot anywhere on this, so I suspect that this phone does not have expandable storage. So now we're going to find out how this device handles full HD streaming and gaming. On YouTube, you can play maximum resolution of 1440p. And as you can see, it looks great. So you can run more or less any game from the Android Play Store. The games look great and play great with no frame drops or issues. Furthermore, you have a 4000 milliamp battery which will give you a day and a half of medium to heavy usage. So coming to the cameras, on the back you have a single 21 megapixel camera with an f1.8 aperture. This camera also supports 4K videos. So let's go through the camera options. You've got panorama mode. Over here you've got picture in picture mode. So the front facing camera, which I've got covered with my finger right there, the front facing camera. We have seen this sort of feature in Samsung's before, so you can take a picture with the front facing camera and the back facing camera at the same time. So that's picture in picture and this is normal mode. So let's have a quick look at settings for the camera. So these are your settings for camera, anti-shake, face detection, auto scene detection, you can shoot raw which is great, capture number, picture size, we're on 21 megapixels you can go all the way down to QVGA or VGA if you wanted. So, brilliant. Preview size, I'm going to make that full screen. And you can change the ISO as well. Video, you've got noise reduction, microphone, audio mode, and video quality, high or fine, which is 4K slash 2K. So I'll put it in 4K slash 2K and we'll see how that plays. Whilst this is a budget smartphone, 21 megapixels is quite ambitious and I'm definitely excited to see how the camera performs. So let's check out a few samples. We are now shooting in 4K with the Elephone S8. In my hands, I've got the Samsung Galaxy S8. So we are basically shooting this video to find out how clear the 4K video is. So 
here are the Geekbench scores for single and multi-core. So as you can see, this smartphone does not come with root access. In the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 25 and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is a very decent result considering the top speeds I currently get is between 25 to 30 megabits per second. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we got an incredible score of 84,668. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartphone chart 2017, showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. So as you can see, the Elephone S8 has taken position 11 on this chart with a very decent benchmark score of 84,000. I've also added the Pixel 2 to this chart. Now if we compare this smartphone to its own price bracket, then here is the top performing smartphone chart for under $250. And again, all devices have been ranked by Antutu scores. And on this chart, the Elephone S8 has taken position one and therefore becomes the undisputed best budget smartphone for under 250. So it'll be interesting to see which smartphone I get next and what overall score it will achieve. I have started uploading these charts to my new website, chigstech.com, and they should all be available for you to view very soon. So there you have it guys, that was the amazing Elephone S8 smartphone. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So this is, in my opinion, the best budget smartphone currently available for under $250. You have plenty of power, speed and performance. You're getting a beautiful 2K screen with 490 pixels per inch, giving you absolutely superb detail, color and sharpness. When I look at this screen, I can't believe that this is priced under $250. Battery life is also pretty good, giving you around 1.5 days of usage, which is quite standard these days for smartphones. You have a fingerprint sensor on the front home button where it should be, and it is really responsive. You also have Google Play, Android 7. You can stream YouTube videos at 1440p. And what surprised me is the camera was actually quite good. For a budget smartphone, this has to be quite a decent camera. Not the best I've seen, but it's still very usable and you can achieve some great results in both day and night. Coming to the cons, there is no expandable storage, no NFC and no 3.5 mm headphone jack. Also, I found that the speaker very slightly distorts on the maximum volume. It could be the unit I've received, but nevertheless, the sound quality was still amazing and enjoyable. Bottom line, this is what I call an incredible smartphone at a very affordable budget price. Well, this smartphone has actually exceeded my expectations. I'm going to be using this now as my main driver for a few weeks to see how I get on. I hope the price stays the same as I would like to get a few of these for Christmas to gift to some of my family members. It's very exciting to see what Elephone has created and now you can bet that there'll be even better smartphones to compete with this one. I look forward to what comes next in the budget world of smartphones. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you think of this smartphone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.